Thai wok. Been eating their noodles since six, but at a very young age at a high street. We heard about this place in Singapore, which has a Michelin star. Uh, how many outlets do they have in Singapore? Just two here. I think they have at least three. So I open the ad, it's just one of us here. The other ones are not mine. Oh, I'm going to ask the owner. What is bak chow mee? Bak chow mee is an undeniably delicious bowl of noodles. Literally translates to mean minced pork noodles. It's a comfort food for a lot of Singaporeans. You can have it during breakfast, you can have it during lunch, dinner, literally on demand. It can be served in a soup form or dry, with lots of sambal and vinegar. I think essentially, it's um, uniquely Singapore. Well, I mean, you go to the base of a bacho mee, the anatomy is really just noodles and pork, right? I mean, you do get a kind of noodles, you know, in Bangkok or even across uh, Causeway in Malaysia. Uh, but it's just how the way we do it, I think, that makes it uniquely Singapore. The hit of vinegar, the chilli, the kind of chilli we, we use in the bacho mee. Singaporeans love bak chor mee. I would think that there are probably about a thousand at least in Singapore. And that's not just factoring in coffee shops and hawker centres. There are cafes, there are restaurants, there are even specialty caterers that have bak chor mee as part of their offerings. Hill Street Tai Hua is the most popular BCM uh, store in Singapore for obvious reasons, because they are the only hawker store in Singapore with the Michelin star. In 2016, for the first time ever, two hawkers in Singapore won Michelin star. One of them was Hill Street Taiwa pork noodles. For any food business, whether you're a restaurant or a hawker store, you want recognition, and the highest of that recognition is a Michelin star. Up until they came to Asia, they've never awarded stars to, you know, street food. It's an acknowledgement and it celebrates the diversity of our food scene in Singapore. I think it's important. We don't just have good restaurants, we also have a very vibrant hawker scene in Singapore. Michelin stars are awarded annually and re-evaluated each year. In 2021, Hawker Chan didn't get the star. Taiwa managed to keep their star. The fact that Taiwa has a Michelin star, I think it's a big deal because as far as I know, the Michelin uh, process is a very rigorous one. So there must be something particularly special about this store. There was a huge publicity generated after Michelin Guide awarded a star to uh, Taiwa at Crawford Lane. There were very, very long queues. Of course, you know, yeah. as when someone wins something, you know, uh, there's always a big buzz. And I remember in 2016 when Hill Street Taiwa won the Michelin, definitely there was a really long queue at uh, Hill Street Taiwa, it just got longer. <laughs> Mi 他是叫丹尊丢the version we have today with the chili and stuff has a lot to do with the Southeast Asian influence on uh, what is traditionally a Teochew chili-less bowl of noodles. As with many Chinese dishes in Singapore, influences were taken from the Malays and the Indians and we sort of developed this taste for spice. My father 
，我差不多十岁左右了。我读书的时候半工半读了，有空就去到街市帮忙啊。到十四岁的时候没有读书了，就正式在那边帮忙，整天了。小的时候，我去帮忙的时候就很好生意的。一九六十四年，我十七岁的时候就接手我爸爸的生意。那时候是生病，不能够做，所以我就接手了。我戒赌的时候，我就会改变一点啦、啊，所以以以前的味道跟现在味道有一点不同，因为我加了很多料。基本是一氧，它的最主要成分是醋跟辣椒了，要好要特别一点。醋啊，我们是自己调配。早上都有新鲜的肉来，我们每天做料的，每晚都现做的。Since my husband was a teenager, he's been eating Thai Hua. But the store that most people think about when you mention Thai Hua is the store at Crawford Lane. I was very confused. I was confused about the brand name. I was confused about the spelling of Taiwan. Yes, definitely. It's it's quite easy to confuse the both of them. It's the same, yeah. So since young, I've been eating the original one because my parents and my uncle and aunties they always bring me over there. And when they told me that there's actually another Taiwan, that was when I realized, oh, there's actually a difference between the two of them. One is Taiwan, one is Taihua. And you know, when you're in casual conversation, you just throw those names out. Oh, I went to Taiwan to eat. Who's, you know, which one did I go to? <laughs> High Street versus Hill Street it sounds very similar as well. I think it was because of the confusion, you know, both serve the same thing. The names are also largely similar. Then uncle came out to basically say that was, he's the original, and then he basically is saying that his bacho is the better one. My名字叫董在才,今年七十岁,我父母亲有三个男的,我是排第三男的。我父亲是我的二哥,我的店名是叫做Hi When我从小时候就在爸爸的帐口玩啊 个人个人做,也没有吵架什么 二零零四才搬过来这边，Colorful。以前我们是在大华超市里面做，不过没有招牌的。新加坡的那些小贩摊位啊，全部是没有招牌的。在那时还没有什么关系，等到拆了，后来政府叫我们去注册一个招牌，
太岁也是拆掉了，我就搬去那个 Prince Edward Road Best Way Building 啊，也是用大华洛托面。原来小的时候在帮忙了啊，很小的，他也是跟我一样在当口玩啊，帮帮头帮尾。然后真正在做事，等到他当兵出来的时候啊，就在 Prince Edward Road 帮我啊，然后。这边有档口，人家有档口出顶，我就顶下来给他做。他在 b e s t Way 卖，然后我就 OK 了，我就现在卖卖到现在了，一个人都卖到四百。我在这边二零零三年到现在，呃，我也是有拿，也是有上过电视报纸啊。Earlier this week, Michelin awarded 50 food establishments here with the Bib Gourmand, which recognizes quality food priced at less than 45 Singapore dollars. And more than half of them can be found in hawker centers. All this means that business here at Honglin Food Center is thriving. Because maybe he got a Michelin star, then I just got a Michelin Big Mall. Then sometimes the customer outside doesn't understand what is star, what is Big Mall. It's a bit messy because the Michelin logo is different. They don't distinguish which one is star and which one is Big Mall. Then he got a Big Mall, he got a Big Mall. Maybe he got a bit confused at this point. 不过我们很多熟客，我们的熟客要吃这边就来这边吃，要吃口福令就去口福令吃，他们全部会知道的。Currently at Hongling Park right now, I'm gonna take a bite of this Taiwan bak chor mee. I think the noodle is very well cooked. It has a very very nice bite. It's very important in bak chor mee because if it's too soggy, you know, it loses a bite and then it doesn't track that sauce very well. We are at Kill Street Taiwan Pork Noodles. The noodles are slightly undercooked, which is fine by me. It's better than being overcooked. Mmm, perfectly done noodles. They strike the sauce very well. And you, know, you can taste savory, you can taste chili, you can taste a good hit of vinegar. Very crispy and excellent umami. Significantly smaller and then less pieces. The soup has a subtle taste of pork, very subtle, but with a very forward taste of this uh, seaweed. Taiwan only had a bowl of soup, uh, but this one, basically all the ingredients are on in with the noodles. I can definitely tell that both bowls of noodles probably came from the same recipe. I don't think I can tell the difference if you were to uh, you know, blindfold me and uh, ask me to you know, pick, pick which one is Taiwan and which one is Taiwan. Yeah, so I had uh, two noodles today back to back. If you ask me which one I prefer, I would say that uh, I prefer the one at Crawford Lane. I feel that it's more polished, it's more balanced. Crawford Lane, the consistency is much better. There have been hits and misses for me at uh, Hong Lim. So for me, it just boils down to consistency. Maybe that's the reason why Taiwan at uh, Crawford Lane gets a star at uh, Taiwan at uh, Hong Lim does not get a star. So after Taiwan won the Michelin star, I started to see more and more Similar looking stores popping up around Singapore. 进来才多这两年，外面开了很多大华巴粗米啦。有人家误会，说新加坡很多，全部是我的。但他说我品质不同。那放广告是就是人家混淆了，所以我办广告就是这边只是我们这边一间而已，其他的不是我的。我那天是 customer 跟我讲的，哎，你跟你。阿哥吵架是吗？阿登报纸澄清了，我就讲没有，没有吵架，没有事情啊，我们刚刚没有事情。我那天放工我就打给阿，我问，哎，阿伯什么事情？这么登这个报纸？要不要外面去研究一些别的生意那种啊？开多几间，我们要讲我教他怎么样做 ，supply 他东西，让他开多一点。要讲 OK 咯，不 OK 咯，慢慢就越开越多间了，因为慢慢蛮快的。In about two last years, right, we have seen IWA expand to fourteen outlets. They are booming into the heartlands and all. 我们只是这边而已，每天都来。嗯，以前全部我自己动手，现在我老了，我交给第三代的人接手，他们去做。所以早上来的时候，我就看着他们做料了。我每天都吃，现在我要试试看的口味
啊，它的水准到哪里有？每天都要吃。如果开太多啊，就好像品质控制不了，所以就不好吃了。他七八十岁，你不可能叫他去哎干那种嘛。个人个人的想法不一样，他觉得。他一天店够，可以每天。但我是觉得，因为我现在四十多岁，我孩子都可以满收满大了了，我可以有空去外面玩车，多一点东西。My name is Chen and I run a Facebook food blog called Bacho Mi Hunter. So it started out as a hobby. During the COVID period, I thought that okay, maybe I could take some downtime to do some fun activities, and I love eating Bacho Mi. So I started going around to. Be a mono specialized foodie, so it's just bacho mi. As long as there's minced meat inside, I'll have it. I mean, this three and a half years, I've had more than 300 different unique stalls. But if you were to count in non-unique stalls, repeat visits, and all that, possibly a lot, a lot more. So after Taiwan won the Michelin star, I started to see more and more similar-looking stalls popping up around Singapore. So as you open more and more stalls, we need to take into account things like. The supply chain of ingredients, the cooking experiences of the chef. The more stalls there are, the higher the likelihood of tripping up. Follow me as I review and rate 15 bar Tommy stalls. This is episode one. Let's go. My name is Malcolm, and I run Data Driven Foodie on TikTok and on Instagram. My opinion on Thai Wa opening franchises it is good because with that franchising opportunity, it allows potential opportunities for the business to continue sustaining its operations. But the bowl of noodles that is not being prepared by the owner does have some sort of variations. How do you adjust the flavor accordingly to bring it back to what Akong has originally intended for it to be? We are here at one of the 14 Taiwan pork noodle outlets in Singapore. We are trying the five different Taiwan bar tomis today and to see if there are any differences among them. Now we are over here at Hong Lin. It looks very beautifully plated. You know, I guess with all the colors that's around and topped with the garnish of spring onions and the fried deep for the soul fish, just wonderful, very enticing. I just want to dig into it really. Hello, Chao Pai Rou Chao Mei Liang Wan. Hi, Mi Pok. From this vendor meal outlet, Taiwan Bak Chao Mei itself, we do see it's being topped with the fried soul fish, pepo. And you have the Mi Pok and the seaweeds, dumpling as well in the soup too. So compared to the Hong Lim branch, right, I would say that Vendor Meal and Hong Lim share a similar level of vinegar use. The soup is also just as fragrant with the right amount of pepo. So it's very distinct over here the noodles itself. While it is not overcooked, I would still have preferred a bit more chew to it. This is my third bowl of Taiwan Bar Chow Mi. First bite in, I felt that the vinegar was a little lighter over here. The noodle was a little more cooked over here. I had the soup as well. The soup is consistent with what we've had at Hong Lim. It's actually quite different from what we have had at Hong Lim. Noodles here taste, you know, somewhat more dry, you know, less saucy. Yep. You see me? Like the dumpling got minimal flavor. Feels like I'm just biting into some dough. <laughs> but the skin, is it wrapped here? I can't tell, but very thick. Right. Number one thing that I observe is that the noodles actually clump up. It is not as distinguished from each strand to the other. It's not as saucy as the one we have observed at Hong Lim. I think the dried soul fish is a little less crisp than what we've had uh, in previous locations. I thought the soup was a lot milder as well. So it's lightly salted, a little less flavorful. We are currently in Badok, and this is our fifth bowl of Taiwan pork noodles. I see that this bowl of pork noodle has a bit more sauce. The pork liver seems to be bigger as well. And again, the quantity for the same price point is also similar. Same number of pork balls, you have the seaweed and the same number of dumplings as well. The noodle sauce is great. It's uh, vinegary, but I thought the soup was a little more salty than um, the other outlets. We have been to five outlets in total. There is some clear signs of variations. The flavour that we have in the dumpling itself, in fact, the soup, to the crispiness of the soul fish. So variations does exist. Yes, there's a degree of inconsistency. 
有些人是可能在別的人做久了他們的主法不一樣他們需要時間去我的主法那頭要給他們一些時間來外面開了很多大花把臭米他們認為全部是我開的因為他們沒有注意看那個招牌對我有一點影響因為品質不同他們只是認大華兩個字而已其他的沒有注意不好啦這個名字已經用了幾十年了然後他我是很高興的